if you watch modern gameplay videos of games like Battlefield 1, you see players sprinting around constantly, only ever stopping to shoot. Where are these players sprinting to? Mostly due to how movement systems work in modern games, they incentivize sprinting and twitch reactions over tactical decision making. Now, fast paced gameplay and sprinting around is fun in the moment, but if you sprint constantly, you miss all the amazing details and environment the artist put a lot of effort into. For example, if you ever played a modern shooter with the heads up display disabled, you will realize how intricate and immersive the environments really are. The way these movement systems in modern shooter games are designed force you to make decisions more rapidly, which minimizes the impact of individual decisions. These factors significantly lower the tensity and the immersion in the game. When decisions don't matter, there can't be any tensity. When people act unnaturally compared to the situation that is depicted by the game, there can't be any immersion. Any feelings of presence, persistence or immersion in the game world are swept away. Instead, all that is left is your brain's immediate dopamine response to plus 100 points popping up on your heads up display and getting hit markers. This effectively ruins the awesome work of the artists and the potential for an immersive game to be more than just a dopamine release button. Realistically rendered World War I soldiers are jumping and sprinting over a realistic battlefield with realistic tanks driving at 60 miles an hour. Why even bother creating an awesome world, stunning visuals and incredible sound when you're just going to waste it on the next glorified slot machine?